steering wheel is nice, but it could definitely be better. I'd like to fix those little areas. So I'm gonna take it apart. Just need a flat tool. There's a broken. There we go. Just need to unsnap it. So take that apart. Then here we go. A couple of screws for the horn. Those three. You need to be very careful and remember how you take that apart. All the way to the shims behind and then you have those three screws to remove the steering wheel. So let's, uh, let's get started and remove those two first. Preferably you will use a plastic tool to remove that. But if you are very careful like I did, it doesn't damage anything. So I want to make sure you have the little sensor for the, the horn that will show you how you keep that piece in place. But I want to make sure that I keep them together so I mark few areas uh, just to remember where it goes. Just to put that in the right orientation. Still waiting on the clock so everything is apart on the side. Once I got a clock, I can put it back together and the rest is uh, looking awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. You could use power tool. I like to use hand tools, especially for such assembly. Okay, so put that one, easy to know where it goes, the orientation, and one as well, I'll put them back together, put those screws in. The third one is on the floor. Then you have the those two screws, I actually take another picture. I was ready to drop it, okay, get it after. So those two little screws are to make sure that you don't have any rotation of the star screw and it's staying in place. And you have those six screws. This is the horn right here. They need to go any further. Here we are. Not overly complicated, but now I got it apart and I can do a few few fixes. Made in France. Surprised. Part of Corvette is made in France. I didn't know that. Excellent. Of 
could touch up that one as well, but it's in between. safe enough I'm gonna clean that one be very careful because the rest the leather and everything the lacing is outstanding for 46 years old car so the lacing doesn't need any work I just want to just want to shine that one fix those worn areas and make it look like almost like brand new okay let's go here we go, so just before light painting, no, I just very briefly degrees that, clean it, and then I predicted the area that I don't want painted I'm using cheap plastic bags and duct tape. I did not buff it too hard because I don't want to leave any strike because that's going to bother me when I will drive it. So I just want to cover the, the misery and keep the rest. The rest is nice and smooth and that's how I want to keep it so it stays shiny and it should work very well. I've done that on other parts and was very happy with the results. So let's go and give it a little shot of paint, go very lightly, let it dry and then we'll put it back together. Okay, here we are. Pretty nice, pretty shiny. I'll put it back together. Let's see how it looks. It should be pretty good. Just need to put it the right way, delicately, so I don't make any scratch while I'm putting it back. to center that go right above the knob okay it's pressing on it perfect and make sure that little tab on the bottom is pressing on that stud And 
tight it, just put it in place and then I will tight everything. that I need a clip I want to center that you know line the flag with the wheel and it is working it's nice and neat you got a little burn right here looks a lot better looks brand new I put a little bit of sealant on that one as well special sealant so it keep that nice and shiny as well so here we go for the steering wheel, it looks beautiful. <laughs> 